Weekly at TV Spotlight, we take a look at a nonprofit that provides new pathways for survivors of domestic violence. My three. In India, around 70% of women are victims of domestic violence. In an effort to fight back, some have donned pink saris and resorted to lattes, a retaliation with sticks. He's so mad now that the police got involved. My in-laws are furious. My parents are also angry. Thousands of miles away in America, the statistics are equally disturbing. Every nine seconds, a woman in the United States is assaulted or beaten. If you look at somebody who is a victim of this, the first thing is they believe that it doesn't happen to me till it is too late. A study conducted by Boston University revealed that 40% of South Asian women who live in the U.S. have been physically or sexually abused by their partners. I found that uh, my calling was in domestic violence, which people don't usually see as a crime. Um, uh, to this day, rape is seen as a crime. Domestic violence happens within the four walls of people's homes. People seem to think it's not our business. For some, these statistics are too shocking to acknowledge. And for others, it's yet another embarrassing fact to be swept under the rug. More people who hear about this, the more acceptance and awareness of the issues, the much better we are in solving them. But for my three volunteers, this is an epidemic they are resolved to wipe out. No, if you're a victim of domestic violence, then you have options. So please call and find out what your options are. From educating the South Asian immigrants about the facts of domestic violence, or DV, to listing the available resources, Maitri has been a reliable support network for more than 20 years. It's a nine-month program where we work with them one-on-one, -on -one, where I, uh, I meet with them individually every week for case management, where we follow through on their goals and make sure that, they are, that we are helping them in every possible way. Maitri also partners with groups like Move Up, a nonprofit empowering underserved women by helping them find jobs or start small businesses. What we do is we help underserved women get economic independence. So we work with these women one on one to find jobs, start businesses, do better in their careers. Recognizing that this is not a women's issue but a societal issue, Maitri also has a teen and young adult initiative. I too attended a workshop at Maitri and I was really impressed by it and I also wanted to get involved in it, so I guess I just kind of reached out. Education at an early age is important as one in three teens in the United States are victims of physical or emotional abuse. Hello, this is my three. How may I help you? Funds for these services come from corporate donors and from fundraisers like this one at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. Set in the heart of Silicon Valley, the evening drew scores of South Asians ready to open up their checkbooks for a good cause. Maitri is one organization that would give you the biggest return on your investment. In attendance were several Silicon Valley icons, Umesh Wadhwani, M. R. Rangaswamy, Anil Gudwani, and President Obama's latest appointment to the Department of Commerce, Arun Kumar. Maitri raised more than $500,000 through ticket sales, asylum to auction of paintings and evening gowns from Indian designer Nisha Kataria Puri. For me, Maitri is close to my heart. The evening was capped off with an Indian feast and a live performance by American-turned Bollywood singer Jeffrey Ball. For the ATV Spotlight, I'm Deepi Dollar.